Hello, today we're going to talk about inserting headers, footers, and watermarks into a spreadsheet. So I'm really just going to talk about headers because that's kind of what this is. There's two classic ways of inserting a header into a worksheet. The most typical way is under the insert tab. You're inserting something, it's in the text group, and here's header footer. You click on this, jumps you to this view, which is kind of weird, maybe unsettling. Notice this click to add header. Notice you've got three columns. If I scroll down, there's the footer. Right, so clicking on that insert header just kind of took me here. Notice that uh, when you're in the header, you get these you get this contextual tab here, and you get some various operations. Right, so like uh, common things are going to be maybe the sheet name, maybe the current time. Notice with a lot of the cool stuff like time, it just puts in that weird gibberish code. But as soon as you click off of it, you get something more reasonable. All right, maybe you just want to put your name in there. A lot of that stuff is just manual entry. And a footer is no different than the header, right? You just, you just do it. Uh, so one of the interesting things about inserting a header is that you kind of get stuck in this view because in the normal view, you do not see the header. Uh, what happens when you go to do a header is you get switched over to this page layout view. If you click here, you're back to normal view, right? And so that's kind of interesting, more what you're accustomed to seeing. Let's go to another sheet and start messing around with it again. Here I am on some sheet with nothing going on. The way that I always insert a header, I never do this whole insert business. I just switch straight to page layout view, and there you go. So it's kind of misleading. The insert header really seems like it's doing something, but all it's really doing is changing the view and placing your cursor right there. One thing I'd like to point out is notice that headers do not transfer from sheet to sheet unless you make them do so. Uh, let's take this time to talk about a watermark, one of the weirder things in Excel. So watermark's just kind of a background image for your sheet. If you head over to header and footer design tools, um, it, what a watermark is, it's really just a picture inserted in the header, which is really weird. You would never guess that. Now let's go to Bing, and I'm going to search for a watermark. And I've got a lot of options. I'm going to go with that one. I click Insert, and you see I get that gibberish again, but as soon as I click off of the cell, there's my watermark. Is that good? I, I don't know if it's good or not, right? I mean, I'm just showing you how to insert a watermark. There are times when this is fitting, and there are times when it's not. But it's pretty strange that inserting a watermark is really just putting a picture in the header, which you would never guess. And if I switch back to normal view, it's not displayed. If I head to the print preview, you'll see my headers do show up. So doesn't show up in normal view, it does show up in page layout view, it does show up when I actually print the document. So understanding that is a big part of working with headers and footers. Thanks for watching.